All right, you're welcome. This is a stress tutorial where we uh, work on technical drawing problems. So we solve technical drawing problems on uh, geometrical drawing, mechanical drawing, and building drawing. And now what I want to share with you is very, very important, most especially you have to answer uh, mechanical questions, mechanical objective questions in NECO and WAEC. There are very there are important things that you need to know, uh, which will help you to be able to answer all the 10 questions in WAEC or mechanical drawing. And as we have in NECO, uh, the 50 questions are a mixture of um geometrical drawing mechanical drawing and building drawing so for you to be able to answer the questions there are some things that are very very important that you need to know when it comes to mechanical drawing questions and that is what i want to share with you now now as you can see on my screen here on your screen um there are things that we call conventions there are things that you call conventions that you need to be able to identify when it is given to you in the question and ask to identify what the component is. So to be able to show to take the right answer if you are able to identify the component given to you. So that is what I want to share with you here, as you can see that uh, we have mechanical conventions. So the most important thing is for you to be able to identify these things. If you're able to identify anyone given to you, you'll be able to choose the right uh, answer in the options given to you. All right, so now, if you look at what we have here, uh, we have tie two, in the table, we have actual projection or section, and we have the convention. We have the convention. All right, so the convention is what you need to pay attention to. Also, you may also need to pay attention to these ones. There is no one that you don't need to pay attention to. So do let me tell you that you need to pay attention to both of them. So for the first one that we have here, we have external threads, and this is the actual projection that is how it actually looks but the convention is this and this component that we have here is known as a storage is known as a storage so this is the convention and this is the actual projection or actual drawing or the or actual picture so this is the convention and second one is internal threads internal threads so when we have threads in a component, we have threads, uh, the threads in the component. So and this is the convention for that. Then slotted edge, slotted edge of a screw. So this is what we have here. So this is a straight uh, slotted uh, edge, uh, edge of a screw. And this is the convention. Then we have square end and flat square end and flat, this is the actual view, and this is the conventional view. Then we also have radial ribs, radial ribs. So this is the actual uh, picture, and this is the convention. This is how it look at conventional as far as its convention. Then serrated shaft. So we have serrated shaft. This is the actual view and this is the conventional view. Then spline shaft, this is the actual view, this is the conventional view. So make sure you are able to identify them. That is what I'm trying to do here so that you can be able to identify them. Then we also have chain wheel. So this is the actual view and this is the convention. Then we also have, here we have cylindrical compression spring cylindrical compression spring. This is the actual view. So this is the convention and this is the 
diagrammatic representation. Likewise, cylindrical tension spring. This is the actual view. This is the convention, and this is the diagrammatic representation. So make sure you are able to identify all this. Anyone that is given to you, you are able to identify it, you get the right answer from the options given to you. Then we also have, uh, here we also have straight nulling. Straight nulling, this is the actual view and this is the convention. Diamond nulling, we have the actual view here and this is the convention view. Then we have square on shaft. Square on shaft, this is the actual view and this is the convention. We have holes on circular pitch, holes on circular pitch. So we have the actual view and then we also have the convention here. So bearing on shaft, bearing on shaft, this is the actual view and this is the convention. So external screw, I've explained that, that this component is, is stored. See this component is stored, then internal screw threads, I've explained that then so the next thing that we have here is we have the tolerances or tolerance characteristics. Tolerance characteristics. So we have the symbol, we have the characteristics, and we have the category. So they are categorized into different forms. So here we have what we have form. Among the, the forms, under the characteristic, we have straightness, we have flatness, we have circularity, we have cylindricity. And these are the their symbols. These are the symbols. Then we have profile. We have profile of a line, profile of the surface, and these are their symbols. Yes, be able to identify these symbols. Then we also have orientation. So this is angularity, this is perpendicularity, this is parallelism. Then we have under the location. So location, we have position. We are cylindricity, we are symmetry. So these are their symbols here. Then we have run out. So under the run out, we have circular run out and we have total run out. So you'll be able to identify each of these symbols so that you can say so we can you can choose the correct answer in the option given to you. Then here we also have material conventions. Material conventions. So for the material conventions, we have different types of uh, types of materials. We have the conventions, and we have different materials that can be represented with this same particular uh, convention here. So for metals, for metals, so this one, so we have uh, under this, we so we are still. Here we have still we have cast iron, we have copper, we have um the alloys, aluminum, and its alloy can be represented with this particular symbol or convention here. And also lead, zinc, tin, white, metal, and so on, they can all be represented with this uh with this uh convention here. Then we also have glass. So glass, this is the convention for glass. I believe that you are familiar with that. Then here we also have packing and insulating materials. Packing and insulating materials for this symbol or for this convention, we can use to represent porcelain, we can use to represent stoneware, stoneware, marble, slate, and so on. And for this one, it can be used to represent asbestos, fiber, ferret, Synthetic resin product, paper, cork, uh, linoleum, rubber, leather, wax, insulating, and filling materials. Then here, liquids. So for this symbol or this convention, you can use it to represent water, oil, petrol, kerosene, and so on, anything liquid. Then wood. So you can use this symbol to represent uh to wood plywood and so on while concrete you can use this symbol to represent uh concrete as its convention then another thing that we have here are the abbreviations very very important 
to have vibrations. So uh, this symbol is for diameter. This symbol is for diameter. So diameter uh, before the dimension, before the dimension. So that means you put this symbol at the front and you write maybe the diameter of the circle is 20 millimeters. So you put this symbol at the front then you write 20 millimeters or 20 at the back, write 20 at the back. Then diameter in notes. So we have to write it in note, you write DIA, you write DIA. Then radius. So radius before the dimension. Radius before dimension, you want to show the radius of a circle or a semicircle. So you write out then, maybe the radius is what is six millimeters, you put six at the back of, uh, of this R, then chamfer. So this is the abbreviation for chamfer, and then millimeter, this is abbreviation for millimeter, centimeter, this is abbreviation for centimeter, meter, we have this M to represent its abbreviation, cantasong, we have this CSK to represent cantasong or its abbreviation, then cantasong edge. So this is used to represent cantasong head, head as its abbreviation. Center line. So we have this symbol for center line as its abbreviation. Then number. So this is the abbreviation for number uh, square before the dimension. So we want to dimension a square. So you put this symbol at the front, then you write the value of the length of the square at the back of this. Then square in a note. So square in a note, so you abbreviate it like this. Outside diameter, that is O slash E as abbreviation. Inside diameter, I slash E as its abbreviation. We also have threads per inch. Threads per inch, that is P T P I hexagon. Abbreviation E is H E X hexagon. Hexagonal head, H E X H D as its abbreviation across flat. We have A slash F as its abbreviation. Then we have right hand R H as its abbreviation, left hand L H as its, its abbreviation. Then we have pitch circle diameter, P C D. That is the abbreviation of that counter ball. We have this as its abbreviation. We have figure F I G uh, dot. So as its abbreviation, drawing D R G at its abbreviation, and then material, we have M A T L as its abbreviation, and then we have centers C R S as its abbreviation. So all these things are very important, very, very important. So you all need to you need to make sure you are able to uh, know the right way to write the abbreviation when you are given in the uh, question or you're asked to state the full meaning of the abbreviation given to you. So also the ones that I said that you are to identify as symbols or as convention, they are all important to so make sure you can identify them and then that will help you to be able to choose the right answer. So. Uh, if you are watching my video on YouTube for the first time, this is great tutorial. As I said, uh, then do not subscribe, please subscribe and then put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And try to help me form your friends who are also technical drawing students to come and learn as you are learning here. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.